Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bomb and you're very, very welcome. Well, today we're going to do a little bit of channel housekeeping. And that this map was on the Steam Monthly Map Chart Show and it has not yet been reviewed. So we like to keep things complete. Today's map will be reviewing that last of the 20 on that chart show. Now, it's not an original map. It was originally created by Amalia. It's been uh, upgraded and fixed because apparently there were some broken highways by, uh, by today's creator. They've not done a bad job at all, but there is one little bit that, although it is covered in the description, I think we'll make our own decisions on uh, whether you agree with me or not is completely up to you. But one thing I think you should agree with is uh, a little bit of finger activity, if you don't mind. That's right, a little bit of finger activity really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. So thank you for your support. Today's map is Shantou Guangdong, China by Paramico. Okay, uh, Paramico has got quite a few maps out there, all of the uh, like Chinese provinces and such, so it appears. There's your start square, some very uh, pretty looking intersections going on there, plus a major highway. And then if we have a little look at the terrain heights, very flat, probably because the entire area in real life has been flattened for buildings, which is cool. Okay, the resources, I like this. It's very realistic in the way that all the uh, tile land is going down those rivers, which is great, looks really good to me. And then off to the workshop, no DLC is required. We'll be using the Polynesia 2.0 updated. Thank you, Mr. Miyagi. And there's a little bit of a description to read there, which does explain about the, um, the broken bit of highway that is causing, well, uh, the highway that's causing traffic jams, yeah? Right. Uh, realistic 1.2, like did I say that? I think I did, if I didn't. We're using that one today, but you probably knew that before we started. Okay, highways, high standards, high, high standards. Pillars under this bridge are symmetrical with the river rather than symmetrical or with themselves. And I quite like that. I think that's good work. Okay, yes, so the original map apparently had some broken highways, so the outside connections weren't getting in. Uh, we have seen that kind of thing in the past before. There are bigger sins. There are bigger sins, but that is um, quite quite a big one, especially if you're playing vanilla rules and uh, you can't get out to that broken bit of highway. You can't even see it if you're playing vanilla rules because you can't really get outside of the tile that you're working on. And you're wondering, why is there no traffic coming in down the, you know, the southern highway and such? Oh, and again, and this time symmetrical with each other. That's fine also, all good. First intersection's coming up here. Now the intersections are very slick, very, very slick, I've got to say. Um, there's a little bit of what appears to be shoulders going on. You know what I mean by shoulders, where the merge lines come. We also got a little bit of uh, road glitching going on here. I don't know if that affects the traffic, nothing's going up that way. And there's a little bit of a shoulder going on there, which could be smoothed out a little bit, but actually it doesn't affect the line of the traffic. So I don't have a problem with that really. It just, uh, it could be smoothed. And we've got a little bit of uh, street light just clipping through the highway there because it is so low. Okay, National Road there going into the two lane highways. Now, two lane highways, we'll talk about later on in today's show. A few of you will already be ahead of the curve on this one because you've watched a lot of my shows and you know what's coming. A little bit of terrain height glitching there. It's not too bad. A little bit of smoothing on leveling could make that just look a little bit tidier. That said, if you look at the highway where we are now, it's actually a very boring, dull part of the map. Now, there's nothing wrong with boring and dull because it just leaves a lot of uh, buildable space to work around. So I guess that's a good thing. But um, yeah, without that little bit of terrain height uh, issues with the highways, uh, there'll be nothing to talk about for the, uh, for the last 15, 20 seconds. How long have I been blathering on for? Don't say three years now, come on. I know we're coming up to our third year of what map, but don't say three years of blathering. Okay, I just said it. <laughs> Where were we? Ah, oh, yes, we're, we're blathering our way through um, still. some. I mean, like the, the resource work on this just breaks up the terrain a bit, a little bit mottled. I like that. And then down into the start square. Now, the start square, we have some very interesting intersections going on down here. Let's start off with the one that we're coming in on, which is this one. 
and uh, nice little trumpet effect going on there. That is pretty cool. Uh, we've got uh, some terrain work going on here. I kind of like it. In fact, I'm very happy with it, apart from the uh, little bit of stress on the road there causing the darkening of the texture. But actually, I don't mind that too much at all. Um, and yeah, yesterday's map, I was moaning about something similar, but the opposite direction. Uh, never happy me, you know. Uh, this Is this a bit low? It's a little bit low. I think we're okay. We're not popping up over it. So I think that's an okay road height for being donut proof, but it might be a bit tight. And then we've got roads merging in here. It's all very slick. And going down into the start square, where well, we have an absolute treat today. Do you like treats? Me too. But what I don't like are weeds. Okay, weeds, weeds are not fun. And today we have weeds by Mr. Mason. Ah, oh, they grow in the garden, you pull them up, and then the next day there's even more of them. Gotta hate them. But this is good work. Okay, uh, factoids, because factoids. On this day, December the 10th, in 1896, uh, Alfred Nobel died. The major invention of his life was dynamite. Wasn't that invented in China back prehistory? Never mind. Um, but anyway, officially, dynamite. Although its importance was great, Nobel worried that he would go down in history as a propagator of violence and destruction. Thanks to a late change in his will, he is more likely to be remembered as the instigator of the world-famous Nobel Prizes, including that Peace Prize. So anyway, uh, Alfred Nobel, a little uh, hero of the day. Now, if you grab all those weeds and you stick them together using the tree brush or something like that, you can get something very pretty like this. Anyway, great work. Weeds, Mr. Maison. Today's assets of the day. Now, there are nine assets in the pack. I've only got eight of them. I don't know where the ninth form went to, but let's not worry too much about that one. Let's worry more about this. Now, we have a little bit of a traffic build up here, and this is covered in the description as something that you should fix yourselves when you're building your city. So let's have a little look at this bit. It might be a bit of traffic flow problem here as the city build goes on, but of course we're basing this on a real life intersection, so we'll accept it. And then we've got this little bridge going over the highway here, which is very tidy again, all, all very slick and tidy. No, traffic is causing a bit of a problem down there, isn't it? Anyway, we've got a street light glipping right the way through there, which is not very pretty, and we are really low. We are really low with this bridge. You see the trucks there crunching through. And we've got one heading right towards us. Let's duck out of the way just at the very last second. There you go. So yeah, a little bit too low that bridge. Could do with shunting up a bit. And of course the street lights could do with um, being realigned. Now we have stop start on this highway. Some pretty bad stop start going on. In fact, we have skipping trucks and cars. And yeah. <laughs> this this is fun now like i say this is covered this is covered in the description uh clearly they're aware of it uh for me for me that means you've got to fix it you don't put this into the map this wouldn't take too long to actually put right a little bit of move it tool dragging away these segments from each other and uh, everything should be okay but this is causing problems already and we haven't even started building Traffic flow is proving very, very, very awkward there. You can see where the problem is, can't you? So anyway, yes, for me, for me, that is actually the map maker's job to fix. Although the map maker has put the ball into our court in the description. So whose side are you going to take? My side or their side? Or your own side? I don't care. I, it's either way. It's fine. They, they, they've covered it, but I'm still going to mention it because it's funny. Anyway, well, we're heading off towards the fog. Okay, right, let's do the rail. There's very flat land here based on, obviously, the real-life rail routes as well going into Chantel. And um, there's not really too much to say about these rails. They're um, they're fine. Absolutely fine. We're going to have a bit of boringness going on. This is following pretty much the same route as the highway we came in on originally. And there's not too much to say down here. So I get to blather on for about another 15 seconds. Oh, while I'm blathering, I could be reminding you about the new channel. We've got uh, lots of new stuff on the new channel. Also, streaming is coming up very soon indeed. I've got a new show, which will be a live stream show. City Skylines 1 as well. So if you're uh, 
you're into that, I think you're really going to appreciate this. It's something a little bit different, but also a little bit the same. I know, I know, it's, it's a little bit, uh, <laughs> a little bit shady. <laughs> no, um, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just doing doing something that fits in with the channel ethos, anyway. Right, okay, what we got here? That's yeah, dead end. Right, so that's the rail, that's the roads, the roads and the rail, the rail and the roads. Come back after the intermission, or don't go away at all, and we'll do the shipping routes. Okay then. Do your bridges look like the game's AI has gone on holiday? Would you like vanilla bridges to be proud of? Then you need the beginner's guide to perfect bridges by Bon Bon B. Click the information button below. And so back to the shipping routes, Shantao, Guangdong, China by Paramiko. We've got uh, some very lovely curved routes going on here and here. Going around the bay both sides there, that's very nice. And then down here, you can see this ship here is going to have trouble getting through this bridge. It's a bit on the low side. So uh, recommending uh, non-vanilla shipping for this uh, for this map. But also, also we've got the pillar there, which is kind of in the way too. Anyway, the, uh, the route split there. This route goes off this direction. And then that goes off towards the edge of the map over there. But this one also heads up this way. Then we get crisscross which uh, might mean right angle turns for the boats as well which is never pretty so it comes in this way right angle that way so a little bit of a curved edge we've got curves everywhere else apart from one other location if we go back this way we want to head left now and we're going to have to do left basically under the bridge at a sharp angle and go off this way that is going to cause problems and i managed to catch a boat doing it midway through recording the show and you see how crazy this looks doing a full turn under the bridge while the traffic's rolling yeah that for me that for me is a huge fail uh, detailing issue is it enough to bring it down an extra star though i don't know water flow uh, we have rivers that are working rivers with water that flows out into the ocean and then we have water that comes around this way and then into the strait, into the uh, gulf up this way, up past the start square and the water is flowing. You can see pushing through the gap there very, very, very nicely indeed. Uh, water flow at the start square. It peters out fairly soon afterwards in that area there, which I think is big enough to be able to handle the, uh, the uh, dispersal, the sewage, if you might be pumping water, the sewage out that way. Anyways, right, let's have a look at the map as a whole, and it's very buildable. It's, uh, there's a lot of the interesting shapes pushing you away from the grid systems. We've got an interesting shape under the water there. Let's have a little look at that one. Yeah, that could cause um, some shipping hazards. Let's just hope that the shipping goes either side of it. Let's have a little look actually at that while we're here. Yeah, it does, it goes either side. So maybe that's a real life feature in the bay. For all I know, that's that's the case. Uh, we've got uh, this little river network going up here. Again, very interesting. Might make a little uh, Chinese Venice, little Venice going on down there would be pretty cool. And then if you follow this river up into the map, that's nice. And we've got a separate river over that way. We've got a lot of build plane, a lot of fertile land as well going on around the rivers. It's all very nice and very slick. Huge city build going on. Not quite sure what this area outlined by these trees are. I was tempted to look it up, but uh, time was getting away from me today, so I uh, didn't get a chance. But it might be worth having a little glance if you're if you're bored at Google, at, uh, at Shantown, see if you can work out what that feature actually is in real life. Anything else? Ah, oh, the beaches. The beaches are very nice. The Polynesia theme does give some very nice beaches. And I don't mind these trees, the palm trees, like this on the beach. But they've been put in with what appears to be the forest brush. The forest brush does have a rather unique glitchiness to it that ends up with straight-ish lines. Okay, they're not perfectly straight, but you can see we have a straight line there, straight line there, a straight line here. The next batch of trees, you can see the lines again. They're like, like little, little ranks of soldiers going on there. And again, up here, you can just see it. It's it's not, it, it's just weird. It's just very weird indeed. For me, I would uh, I would soften that out, roll over it with the delete uh, key, and then go back and just put a few more in, just to just to break up lines. But if you go, if you're looking for the lines as the effect, 
then that's good. Anyways, um, what do you think of this map? Is it a one-star map? Is it a five-star map? Is it somewhere in between? Your vote really does count. We use it at the end of the month for the viewer's choice top 10. Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. What do I think? Honestly, I don't know. I have not got a clue with this one. It could sneak in there. Uh, aesthetically, I think it looks okay. Uh, it certainly looks like the area it's portraying to be. Um, and uh, the intersections are very pretty. And the theme does a good job. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go high three. It does definitely not a four star map, but a high three is is fair. Detailing on the whole, there's very good stuff, and there's a few really, a couple of really bad bits that could bring it down a bit. I don't think it's enough to drop back down to two stars. So I'm gonna go for a solid to low three. It's it's a safe three, a safe three stars for detail. Gameplay, I think this is hugely playable. I'm gonna go four stars. And then I'm going to knock it right back down to one star right here and now. Remember I said about those two lane highways, network extensions to those roads. And without the mod, which isn't in the requirements list on the uh, on the workshop, without the mod, this is a broken map. Literally will not load. So I have no option to say it's not playable. Although if you've got network extensions to it, it'll load up fine. But I have to play it as it is. Anyway, that's uh, Chantel Guandog China by Paramico. Uh, they've done a really good job at uh, at working on the map. Just one missing item off of the workshop and a little bit of glitchiness, basically. It's, other than that's a perfectly fine map. Anyway, thanks for watching, for commenting, for liking and for subscribing. For joining me for another map in the What's Map series. There'll be another one tomorrow. Another one tomorrow. And an old map on the screen now as well. And I've linked you in also, also, to last night's Bombombi 2 offering. I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. I've been Bombombi. You've been very, very welcome.